everybody, it's Julie Eversol for Hero Arts, and today's video features this sparkling holiday ornament. I'm going to be working with a set from the Aspen Frost Collection by Basic Gray and Hero Arts. This one's called the Aspen Holidays, as well as featuring a technique called uh, masking, or actually mortise masking, or reverse masking. So instead of doing what we normally do when we, when we mask, and that is to stamp an image and then protect it with a mask. We're going to create a reverse mask by masking off the edges that we're going to, and then we're going to fill in the exposed area in the middle. So I decided a square shape was what I wanted to work with on this card. So I'm, I've got a square card that I've already pre-cut from some snow layering paper. And the eclipse tape works very well for this technique because then I can just layer it and use the grid to guide me in keeping that half inch border all around the outer edges of the card front. So once we have the Eclipse tape in place, we're ready to go. And I love this tape for this technique because it doesn't lift or curl up when I'm getting um, abusive with it. <laughs> so I'm going to take my ink applicator tool and very aggressively sponge some color from the outer edges starting with the mask and then sponging towards the center over the exposed area. But I did leave some white space so that I didn't have just flat color filling in that area. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the pine branch with the soft leaf ink color which is just a beautiful shade of green, very soft and it will diffuse here. It's going on pretty strong right now but then it will diffuse and even out very beautifully. And then I'm going to take the ornament in this set and ink it up with the Red Royal, which is a gorgeous, rich shade of red that Hero Arts uh, released at CHA over the summer. And I just think it's a stunning color of red. I can't get enough of it. And once we're done with that, we can go ahead and stamp the greeting with the Memories Art Print Brown down there in the corner. And I think this color combination is really fun. It's not quite earthy, but it's just very cozy to me. I really love this combination. And here's where the magic starts to happen. <laughs> when you start peeling away the mask, you see this gorgeous hue of blue, you know, in this perfectly sharply edged square shape. And then you can go ahead and start adding some accents. And I'm going to use the Sakura Cookie glue pen to add some glue to the ornament there in, in different spots. And then I'm going to coat it with some Prisma glitter because... <laughs> <laughs> a little a little glitter is good and more is better. <laughs> so then I'm going to go ahead around with the pen and edge the mortise mask area because I think it really helps to add some glitter and make that whole thing pop. It's just a great effect I think on this particular design. So it just just looks kind of frosty and sparkly for the holidays. And then we'll just take some gemstones. These are the red and green gemstones and I'm just gonna take some select sizes to fill in those little flowers and after I folded the card I decided I wanted to add a few more to the ornament so I'm just gonna get that creased and then I'm gonna take that package of bling back out and add just a few more I know it's always dangerous when you add just a little bit more but it looked great on this card <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love that effect? I hope you'll give Mortis Masking a try. Thanks for watching.